This is Tim from Your Six Tech. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to rebuild the database on your PlayStation 5 if you are having different kind of issues with your hard drive. And this is very easy to do, but you do need to access the safe mode or the troubleshooting menu. So to do this, we need to completely turn off the PlayStation. So press the PlayStation button, and then scroll on over to power, and go to turn off. We don't want to go to enter rest mode, we want to completely 100% turn this off. Otherwise, we won't be able to access the different menus at all. Then, once our PS5 is completely turned off, we can hold down the power button and then turn it into the safe mode. So let's go to my PS5. And we do need to have a USB cable connected to our controller. And then press the PlayStation button to access the menu. So let's hold down the power button. We will hear one beep now. And then we will hear another beep like five seconds later. And this will launch you into the safe mode menu. Heard the second beep. Press the PlayStation button. And then we have the different options on the screen. So let's go up now, and here are all the different options. And we want to go down to option number six, and go to rebuild database right here. And I'll restart your PlayStation 5, and then bring you to a screen where it's going to give you an estimated amount of time, and it's probably going to take about six to seven minutes to completely rebuild the database on your PS5. Now there's also another option that says repair console storage. You can go to this as well. If you are having any kind of like hard drive issues, this should repair the drive on your MTOT to SSD in the expansion bay as well is the internal drive. So you do have two options. You can try both of them if one doesn't work. And if everything else fails, you can try restarting your PlayStation 5 and just go to the reset option. This will reset it back to the uh, factory defaults. Or you have reinstall system software. So you can go to PlayStation.com and get the system software on a USB device and then completely reinstall everything. So if it is completely broken, try those different options. But hopefully this video did indeed help you out. Did leave a big thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel down below for more tech videos coming up next on your Six Tech.